Good morning. I'm Stampin' Dee Dee, and this is Stampin' Thursday, and I am just, I'm so glad to be here th with you this morning. I thought I would come on because it's almost Thanksgiving, and I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have big plans for next week. Um, we're going out of town. And so, um, I will not be doing a Facebook Live next Thursday. But, so I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving right now. And um, now we're going to get on to our mystery card. Oh, this is a fun one. It's, it'll, take, it'll take you doing it with me. So, um, let's get to it. Let me put this up on the stand with as little noise as possible. Hold on. All right, here we are. Here is what you need. You need a piece of designer series paper or cardstock, um, six and three quarters by eight. You need a piece of coordinating cardstock, um, four and a quarter by five and a half, and then a uh, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and you need two of those. So, um, Cut two of those, and then you need basic white or, of course, very vanilla. Um, two and three quarter by three and three quarter, and you need two of those. And then whatever you're going to use for your image, you'll need a scrap um, of white for that or a pre-cut, pre-stamped image, whatever, whatever you're using for that. Then you need two sentiments, one for the inside and one for the outside. All right. That's it, not much, but um, we're gonna get started. And the, the key to this card, to this fun fold, is scoring and folding, scoring and folding. So let me get my trimmer because we're gonna start off scoring. So we're gonna take our six and three quarter by eight inch and I'm using designer series paper. I'm using this from the um, Citrus Blooms. I just, I like the paper. So, or no, no, I think I'm using this. What am I using this from? This is probably from the um, A Little Bit of Festive. It is. It's from A Little Bit of Festive. Um, and that's a, a, a set, let me show you that. A little bit of festive is in the mini catalog and you get these three sheets of designer series paper plus you get three 12 by 12 sets of punch outs and um, I'll be using those too on my card they're great for tags or cards you can see here some of the punch outs all of these they're all um, just you just punch them out. They, there's a set of gold ones. So um, that's what we're using for this. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is score this at, let me get my sheet here, score this at two and three quarters. So we're going to put it at two and three quarters. Whoops. And we're going to score it two and three quarters and then we're going to do a quarter turn i'm going to turn it to the right a quarter turn it depends on what you're going to use and i should have said this right off the bat put your put your um the pattern that you want to show put it face down Put it face down. It doesn't matter. Go back to your score, wherever you scored that two and three quarters, and then do a quarter turn to the right and score two and three quarters again. Now, I've already scored mine. I was prepping for this, and I scored it, and I thought, no, no, I shouldn't have scored it. So, I've already scored it. So two and three quarters 
one direction and two and three quarters the second direction. A right turn, a quarter turn. And this corner right here in your score is going to be your, that's gonna be the front of your card. It's gonna be the very front. And the, the pattern that you put down is going to be what shows the most. They're both gonna show, but that's what'll show the most. So then, set your trimmer aside a minute. And now we're going to burnish this on our fold. So I'm gonna take it and fold it and burnish it. And then fold it the other direction and burnish it. All right, so we've got our folds burnished. Now we're going to take this corner, and this is the corner with your square, the corner with your square, and you're going to fold it down to where this score line and this score line meet and land on top of your bottom score line. It's a little harder to see your score lines with pattern paper, but you can do it. So this score line is on top of this score line. This score line is on top of this score line. So I'm gonna wait for you to do that. And that's your square. Once you've done that, then you're gonna burnish that. You're just gonna bring your bone folder up over it and burnish it. And so this score line should be a continuous line and this score line should be a continuous line. So if you're watching this live, holler at me, make a comment so I'll know that you're with me and that way I won't run off and leave you. I'm gonna give you a minute. I hope you're doing it along with me because this is really a fun card, but it takes a little bit of practice. I practiced, I got some old card stock and um, I practiced and I would encourage you to do that too. But I think once you do, you're gonna love it. All right, I was looking to see who's with me. All right, we've got this done. I don't want to run off and leave you. I want to give you time to do it. Now, this next part is the challenging part, but you can do it. <laughs> so right where this, this diagonal line is, that's the line that you're gonna push in. You're just gonna take it and right where that line is, and there's a fold there, you're going to push it in, and this is going to be on top. So you've just got to get that fold. All right, so let's try that again. Right where this, di this diagonal line here, that's what's going to turn in, and your square is going to be on top. And I promise you, it'll push in. I promise you it will. So again, I put my fingers under the diagonal line and kind of pinch them together, pinch it together right there because that is what's gonna need to, to crease and fold and this is going to be on top. Once you get once you get that down where you put your fingers right where that crease is and sort of pinch these together, it just folds naturally. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and right where these folds are, 
I'm going to burnish it a little more. It's not gonna lay flat. And then I'm gonna come down from the middle here and burnish this down. All right, I'm going to give you time to do that because I want you to be able to get it right. One of the times I did it, my inside pattern went the wrong way, so I cut pieces <laughs> to um, cover that up, at least some of it. It still showed up here, but, you know, you learn. You figure those things out. In fact, you'll see that card here in a minute. <clears throat> but that's only if you have a directional pattern. That's where you need to worry about it is when you have a directional pattern. All right. I don't know. I see that I see that there are some watching. So, I hope you're doing it with me. And I don't want to leave you behind, but I'm going to go on now. And now we get to the part, um, the fun part. Take your two white pieces. And the one, this one is going to be your front. And so, I've picked out a sentiment for my front. And it is Merry Christmas. And I'm using um, Night of Navy ink because my card is not of navy. So I'm just going to set it right here. And I'm going to ink up my sentiment for the front. And I'm going to stamp it sort of up in the top because my image is going to go down here. So I'm going to stamp it right up here toward the top. Merry Christmas. And then the image that, well, let me go ahead and stamp my inside so I can put my ink away. And then I chose, these are both. This is from an, a retired set. But I was looking for a certain something, and this is where I found it. Christmas begins with Christ. So I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. I line it up on my, hoping I can get it close to straight. Christmas begins with Christ. This is going to a special person. So I wanted to, I wanted that to be a part of it. Now we're going to take our cardstock that is just a little bit larger than this and we're going to mount it or mat it. So I'm going to do that. Again, I hope you're doing this with me. If you're not, say something. And if no one is, then I won't worry about going slower. All right, I'm going to mount this where it has an even border on both sides. This is for the front, and this one's for the inside. <laughs> All right, set those aside. Well, and this, I'm going to wait till we put it on. All right, I hope you're ready. Hi, Kay. Okay. All right, you're just watching. There are some others, but 
I'm going to go on. Oh, I, you, I hope you didn't miss the folding part. You'll have to go back and rewatch that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now and put my front on. And this is going to go right here. So, but you want to be careful and only ink this part, or um, put adhesive on that part. And I'm going to do that with my liquid because I'll need to move it around. So I, I'm going to put it on this since I need to be careful not to get it past this point. And I know I won't if I do it like this. So I'm putting it right here and it's going to hang over, which is what it's supposed to do. Make sure I got it straight, and I did. All right, and then I'm just gonna make sure it's glued down. And then for the inside, here's the inside of your card. You wanna put this so that it's tucked under and hidden behind this. And that basically, you put it right up against the um, fold. All right, so this is going to go just inside the two folds. And I'm going to make sure before my glue dries, and it is, it's perfect. All right, now we're going to finish our front. Well, we're going to do this. This is the base, and this is what your card sits on. So I'm going to put adhesive here. And make sure it's centered. And this is your four and a quarter by five and a half piece. And it'll just fit perfectly on it, perfectly centered. Now for the front, so I I used I used some of the pop out images from um, that um, what is it a bit of festive a bit of festive I never a little bit festive and I wasn't sure what I wanted to use um, I think I want to use this one for sure because it's got the blue in it. And since my, none of these, this one might have some blue, but I think I'm going to do this and the tree. And they're going to hang over and hang off. But as long as they don't go outside the perimeter of the card. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a smaller tree. Maybe I'll do that. That one's a little smaller. And put my gifts right there. And that should work just fine. All right. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put these on with dimensionals. Let me grab my dimensionals. And save those for another card. I'll use my tree first. No, nope, I don't want it on the bottom because it's going to hang off. But I want it on the top. And maybe, maybe I'll do here like that. I don't know if you can see that. <coughs> Looking right here, making sure. All right, here we go. So I've got this one is not off there. All right, so I'm going to put my tree. I'm going to snug it right up to the Merry Christmas. 
and make sure that it's inside my border here. So I need to tilt it this way just a fraction. <laughs> there we go. And then our gifts are going to go right here. So I only want dimensionals. I really only want one about here. And I'll show you why. Because this already has dimensionals and lifts this up. So this will go right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive along this. Just to connect it to the tree. Just to stabilize it a little bit. Yeah, there's my dimensional. There we go. So... Merry Christmas. Christmas begins with Christ. That's it. That's it. I told you, once you get the folding down, it is such an easy card and so fun for um, someone to open up. They don't have to figure out a whole lot. You know, some fun folds, you just can't figure out how to open them. This one, you can. And the other thing I like about it is you don't have to write a whole lot. Um, it leaves you a little space to sign in, but it says it all. That's it. That's it. So did you like that? Is that something you're going to try? Let me know. Now I'm going to show you some other samples. All right. Here's one. Oh, let me let me first show you the one I messed up on. Um, it was this one. So this one was is is the uh, nests of winter, or the winter treetops, the nests of winter designer series paper. But I used the market go to going to market. I used that. <laughs> Um, because I liked the green plaid, and I thought it went with this green stripe. Well, when I opened it up, after I'd already scored it, I opened it up, and the flower groups were going sideways. So I thought, well, I can't do anything about this, but I can put two strips of paper here so that when you're looking at the card from the front, it, it, it's not paper, bouquets going sideways. So, you see, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with the way this is. I don't think anybody's going to notice that they're going sideways. And I just love the way this turned out. I love the way it turned out. So, there's that one. There's the one we just did. Let me move my trimmer and move this. And that way we can move things over a little bit. Then there's this one that I did with Citrus Blooms. Or Mediterranean Blooms, you know, I, they're, anyway. Um, this one, Wishing You Comfort. And inside, May You Find Peace in the Days to Come and in the Loving Thoughts that Surround You Now. So there's that one. And then this one with, gosh, I don't even remember the name of this, but it's a feel better. This is another one where the blooms ended up going sideways, but from the front, it really didn't matter. And that's not what they're going to be focused on anyway. But you do have to be careful about that. You do have to be careful. You have to watch that. And I'm learning. I'm learning right along with y'all. And then I did another Citrus Blooms. And this one, the inside is not directional. So it didn't matter. You're the best kind of friend. Best kind of person. So I, I think any of the sets that have something, an image that you can um, pull from, is an excellent way to use this um, this fun fold card. And I love it. I, I, I think anyone receiving one of these would go, 
Wow. How did they do that? I think anyone receiving one would would just be thrilled with it. So, that's it. I, it. I told you it wasn't that hard. And what I did was got old, old cardstock. And, yeah, I just, I threw them away. Um, I just practiced with them over and over until I got the fold down. And I would recommend that that's what you do as well. Practice until you get it down. And I have to say that using designer series paper is easier than cardstock. Um, so it folds, it folds better. It folds easier. So that's it. Did you like it? What do you think? Is that something you would do? I hope so. I hope I've encouraged you, encouraged you to, um, to give it a try. And I think once you do, and once you get the folding down, you'll be making them right and left. Because, you know, I sit in front of the TV and cut things like this out, out of the designer series paper. I just sit and cut out birds. And so when I get ready to make a card, I've got something ready to go on the front of the card. So, um, let me encourage you to do that. Use up your designer series paper. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will look forward to seeing you that first week in, Chris, uh, in December. And there will be a dying to know. And we're actually going to look at this set, Winterly Treetops. Um, it, it can go any season. It can go like, this is not a Christmas card. It is not a Christmas card, but it certainly can go Christmas. So, um, we'll be looking at that, um, set of stamps, that bundle. And then we have a Stampin' Thursday, that coming Thursday. And I haven't, I need to map out what I'll be doing. Um, and I'll post that on my website so you'll know. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.